I count my hips. So you got the shoulders today. You know, another workout, bro, because, you know, deloading. So for the main lifts, we didn't do anything crazy. I think for the shoulder press, I only went up to 135 and then did two wider sets after that. So not anything, uh, let me show you guys worthy. I have instead decided to build a pump and show off the pump to you guys. Also, Gym Shark Fit. I feel like this shit is fire. This was, it's a little little cardio fit because I do a lot of cardio on Wednesday. Like fucking uh, over an hour total I'm running before I even start the workout, you know, and then doing like uh, 50 to an hour of the Stairmaster. So like a little, little, little athletic fit. You know what I mean? Like we got on the, we got on the, we got on the. Oh, I have my running shoes packed so you guys can see that I'm not a fake, you know, runner or cardio enthusiast. So athletic fit. Here's what it would look like with the shoes on. Rate the fit. Okay. I can't remember if this is a weight that I've already done or slightly over because of overload. It seems too heavy, but I guess, you know, we'll see once we start lifting it. I think I'm gonna have the tens on standby just in case it is too heavy. I could just like quickly take off the 25s and slide on the tens just in case. Oh yeah. I don't think I've done this way before. I don't know why I thought that I have gone that heavy before, but you know, we played it smart. Now we have this shit standby so we can quickly readjust the weight. Another one, another set. Sorry for failing the earlier weight. Sorry. Sorry. Pump goal. Um, get a pump so good in the shoulders um, that I can look in the mirror and be like, it's a really good solid pump that I can show you guys and you guys be like, yo, it's a really solid pump. So pump cool, get a solid pump. Row to flat raising, 
these beautiful babies. Starting point, 45. I've been doing these for a minute, trying to get a solid three by around eight to 10 before I move up to the 50s. Uh, so we haven't done that yet. So we got to get that done before we could, you know, check that off and go up to the 50s. Look at that, do, two, not do, two. Solid exercise and we already got like that solid shoulder. Oh, look at that. Like when we turn it like that, that shit looks good, bro. Ignore people, dude, like that. Like I can literally hear him. That kid, dude, over there. You can show him if you want. All he does is fucking talk shit, bro. That's all he does. He's the type of person that would do that shit. Instead of saying something to your face, he'll talk like loud enough so that he, you can like you can clearly hear him. But he'd never say that shit to your face, bro. And then the whole whispers, walks away, like talking under your breath, dude. Fucking pussy, bro. Pussy. Stay away from motherfuckers like that, dude. Stay away from them. See, and then you wonder why I get people to cook you, Tommy. Hey, I'm just telling you, dude. Hey, shut that shit off. Like, what I'm about to do to this kid, I'm gonna fucking kill him. I'm gonna try to go for, well, I think I can get eight solid. I think I can get eight solid ones. And then I'll probably do partials so I can get the 10. Um, and just like still even on those partials uh, trying to control that, you know, negative as much as I can really tear shit up for this last set. So much blood, didn't it? Hello. Sneak peek, if you will. Get you guys, you know, craving that pump. You know, something to make the saliva build up, you know, a little bit. Rear delts. Other room.
No, like in all seriousness, dude, I do feel good right now. Like I feel like the pump is looking pretty exceptional, you know? And by the time we hit up this um, and finish up with some triceps, you know? So super set, you should have like a fucking disgusting pump, bro. Um, which is good because usually on shoulders, like after I run, because I always run for like solid 10 minutes before I get into the workout. Um, not really as a warm up because like running isn't gonna really warm you up for fucking shoulders. It's more so just like health benefits and just like overthinker shit. If I ever find myself in a position where I'm having to run for my fucking life, I could just like run for a little bit before we get gas, you know, maybe get away or outrun my friends and they would get fucked up. So. Uh, yeah, after that, I don't really feel like doing shoulders. I'm kind of gas and shit, but like today, I hit up the run, felt good, and then even now, like, I feel good. No pre-workout or anything, because I stay away from pre-working on shit during the deload weeks, just don't really need it, so. Feel good. I'm gonna try to really feel it, like, in my delts and try to, like, form that my muscle connection. I feel like a lot of time when I do this shit, I'm kind of just doing the motion but not really focusing on what I need to be, not really building that mind muscle connection with the rear delts. So I'm gonna spend this uh, set, like not only like always fucking controlling that negative, always, everything you do, even if it doesn't look like it, I'm still trying my best to control that negative. So that's a given, bro, that's a given. But I also wanna spend this set just like forming that mind muscle connection for flex purposes, you know? And then also like, it will help. You know what I mean? Like. Having that mind muscle connection, being able to squeeze where you need to and you know, controlling on that eccentric while squeezing, you know, letting that shit tear up. It's good shit, man, good shit. Good shit. All right, man. Go finish up with the tries. Um, I'm gonna do a super set, so I think I'm gonna do a first set, you know, just going to failure for the super set. And then second one, just run it back. And then just uh, do a drop set, going to failure uh, each rep. So whatever weight, failure, drop it down. Whatever weight, failure, drop it down. Um, so I'm gonna do that super set and then I'll be in the room to show off the pump. Super set with some tricep pull downs. Let's go. So I'm gonna get that grip. And uh, I'll probably use, I'll use those cables. Doesn't look like somebody's using the, both of them. Uh, 
We're going to get the technique right this time. So personally, for the taking off of the shirt technique, I like to pull it over just as you saw, but I like to grab the collar once I get it up here and pull it off through that. That way, you save yourself a couple seconds. Don't have to flip it, you know, because it's not inside out. Just the way I like to do things. Preference is preference, man. But anyways, pump. I feel like when I pose facing this way, the lighting's not as good as when I'm posing this way. I don't know about a comparison. So I'll do the shoulders from here. Not here. Really? Uh, I don't know. But anyways, I feel like the pump is pretty valid. Oh, dude, shoulders are like, shoulders are low-key popping out. Got the tricep pump going too. But no, good workout. I could do this, it's been a while. Damn, bro. My swimmers will know what I'm trying to, what I'm trying to do. Fuck. There we go, there we go. I need to bring that back, dude. Maybe for like the fucking setting up for the deloads. Once I practice it more, because as you can see, I'm having to fucking position myself just to fucking do it. And before, like, I can do it from any position. But, anyways, maybe like when I'm setting up for the deadlifts, you know, like maybe like a, because I do sumo, so maybe like a. And then that would be the noise, get ready to pull, you know? Or maybe, maybe not this, so just maybe this is the bar. And that, that would be the noise, and then we get into it. So that might be the move. I have to be practicing some more, because a little rusty. We missed more of these than we did hit them. Hey. <laughs> 